going on Philly J here um, just want to start off saying um, I went to a wake tonight and uh, it's one of my neighbors but I've known her for pretty much my whole life and um, yeah it's, you know I appreciate every single day that you have and um, you know just enjoy life because you never know when it's, when it's your last day and um, for this person um, Pretty much, she had a heart attack in her sleep. Nobody expected it, so, um, yeah, it's pretty much that. And, um, let me go over some of the pretty good things about the Cyber Power versus the HP computer that I had a week ago, but I had to return because of an hour. Okay, so... Pretty much, if you watch my previous HP video, um, if you have, by the way, if you haven't, um, pretty much I suggest you watch that. Um, got my cyber power about three days ago, and if you look at some of the things that's superior of then the HP, um, first thing is the EVGA, um, RTX 2080. Um, so this card is very good. The HP that I had was not using it. I guess you can call it like a reference card or whatever. But I'd rather much um, have the EVGA over any, uh, you know, bullcrap card, as I would say. Um, so that's one of the first things. I don't know if you can see it, but the motherboard, um, the motherboard is way better than the HP. Um, the HP was using some some crappy MOBO and um, this is using an MSI. Yes, it's an MSI that's not like the crazy expensive model, but um, pretty much I'd rather have this MOBO over the one the HP was using. Um, it's, you know, one the HP was using was really crappy, so that's that. So let me go up to the vent. Let me uh, mention the ventilation. So the ventilation is a way better than the HP. Um, I hate to sit, sound like, you know, I hate HP, but you know what? They really use crappy components. Um, uses one rear fan, and uses two here. Um, so you know the ventilation is way better in this computer than the HP Obelisk um, that I had a week ago. Um, you know, um, so that's a lot better in this computer. So what about the heat heat sink? Um, the HP was using a fan. Um, this is using liquid cooling, um, a very basic liquid cooling system. I might say, but, um, you know, it's using a liquid cooling over a regular fan uh, heat sink. So that's something that's a big improvement over the HP. So what about the lighting in this system? Um, it's, not, it's not really a big deal to me, but um, for those who care about the lighting in the this, in this system, this one includes a remote. The HP computers include something with their software. So I'm not sh entirely sure how you work this remote. I haven't used it that much. But you can change the different colors and such. I guess it is nice to have a, you know, a remote, a physical remote over um, you know, software. Because I'm not going to lie, the, after using it for a little while, the HP Obelisk uh, program was a little bit buggy. And there was a lot less options with that program over having a physical remote. This computer has very good performance. Um, it also has a 8700K uh, processor. HP only had a, an 8700. Um, with the HP, you can overclock it. Um, but this one, you can overclock it. Um, if you look down, you can't really see down here, but the power supply unit um i haven't looked into um how many watts it is but i'm thinking at least five six hundred watts um so it should be enough to power the system um 
but uh, the power supply unit is probably better than what HP is using in their computers. Um, so that's that. I don't have it next to me right now, but the keyboard and mouse that's included with the cyber power is a lot better than a, than most pre-built PCs. Um, has an RGB keyboard and such, so I haven't tested it out. I'm actually using a Corsair um, keyboard right now and mouse, so um, if I test it out, I'll definitely update this video. But um, from the surface, it looks like um, the keyboard and mouse is way better that with the cyber power than most pre-built computers. In terms of the uh, case, um, you know, it's pretty nice. Um, it's well built and it has a couple of USB 3.0 ports on the top. Uh, it's not focusing for some reason. It also has a headphone port and the mic jack and also has ventilation on the top. So overall the ventilation is very good um in my opinion it's way better than the hp i'm not just saying that because i had a bad experience with hp but if you look at how many fans and the ventilation on the system it is way better um, i think this i can't really put the camera over here but there are vents on this side as well so that ensures um a pretty good uh, PC gaming experience and should stay pretty cool. So overall, I'm really happy with my cyber power. Um, I got the HP on sale a week or two ago, um, Black Friday price for uh, 1500 hours. Um, and it ended up being a disaster. Um, you know, if you want to watch my previous video, uh, you know, I have it in the description. So. Um, this was 300 hours more than the HP on the Black Friday sale price. And in my opinion, it's way better quality. And I highly suggest that you look into cyber power for your next PC. Um, in general, they use way better components than HP. HP is using really crappy components. And I was not happy with them because pretty much uh, when I called them, with problems with my new PC. It's a common issue with the HP Obelisk, but it was getting a power on self test error. Um, pretty much they were blaming it on me. I was like, no, no, no. I'm returning the system. I'm getting something else. So I ended up with this 1800, like I said, 1800 hours I got on Amazon. Um, you can customize it uh, on their actual website if you want to, if you want to choose the parts or whatever. But the parts that came out with the system, um, they're very good. So that's pretty much it. And uh, if you like the video, drop a like. And uh, if you want to subscribe, that's up to you. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.